Hey everyone, welcome back to Kimber Creations. It's me, Kim, and I'm back with some more card shares that I um, completed yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, and last evening. And um, it was what I would say is a sort of a productive day. I got six cards done, uh, you know, with in between everything else that I was doing. So um, one of the cards I wanna show you that I used, um, this unity stamp it says I feel so empty without you in this coffee cup and and coffee pot and just did it pretty simple um, the background here is a Doris embossing folder I what I call big circles I don't know what the name of it is they don't I don't think they always have names on them so I just kind of name them myself and then just put a doily behind there with a um, an oval die and then just watercolored them in. I believe, yes, all of the images that I'm showing I have watercolored just with markers, I should say. And then just used some of those like flat back pearls on there. And that was, that's pretty much it. You know, since it's a small um, little images, you know, and then you try to fill up a card, and so that's what I have that way. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, um, here's a, this is from Penny Black. It's this image here. Uh, I don't think, it says Pretty Perch on there and I used a pre-made card for this that you get in those boxes from Joann's or Michael's or whatever and I didn't think that this one turned out too bad and then I for the snow I used that textured snow writer pen again um, but I have noticed that because I I've had it for a long time and it was starting to wasn't able to come out of the cap real well so I was like putting it on a piece of paper and then just using well some of it I just used my finger and went around and then I had like a little I think I just used like a old paintbrush and and uh, threw some snow on there as well so I like how it turned out that way um, probably just gonna leave it like it is sometimes you know could probably put a sentiment on the front you know <clears throat> excuse me I might because I don't I really don't know what I'm going to use it for at this point just um, since I'm going to be starting at my classes again card classes I thought too this would be a good uh, card to use to to give the ladies an idea of what they could do so um, now the next one I used this Art Impressions stamp and made these two cards really simple. Um, didn't add a whole lot to them, you know, after the coloring. And once again, I used pre-made cards and the, these cards were the American Craft cards. Um, and I'm, it's not going to show up, I don't believe, or maybe I can turn it but there are embossed um, snowflakes on the background of, of those and then I just took some Wink Estella um, and put on there just to add a little bit of shimmer because um, you know I wanted to keep them pretty well simple but yet you know added just a little touch of, of something so there's that and then the next one is one of my favorites that I did yesterday um, just because it, it went together without even like I didn't have a plan when I was making it I did the image which is from Inka Dinka Do this one here and I really didn't know what I was going to do and so um, I went ahead and then it just kind of fussy cut fussy cut it out and then um, was looking through my stash of things and I found 
this friend's banner which was in my stash from a swap or something and it was a longer one um, and then I just cut it down <clears throat> excuse me to fit inside there use some of the candy drops from uh, doodle bug and the forever is just ran that through my big shot and then the background paper is the miss Com uh, sparkle and company from Joann's so I just uh, thought it came together really well and popped that up as well there I backed it on black and then I put it on a black card so and then the last one of course I you know I had to put some type of farm animal in here <laughs> and so I did this pig and mice from uh, house mouse absolutely love the stamp and um, so I once again watercolored you know just left it simple on the on the front and um, thought it turned out pretty cute as well so there's my share for right now I'm gonna go out and do some, uh, get the animals fed and everything and come back in and hopefully get some more creating done for today so we will talk to you all later thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't yet and if you'd like to and also hit that like button give me a thumbs up and we will talk to y'all later bye